production of sericulture production of good quality of cocoon depends upon the type of food we use for sericulture for silkworm larvae uh, if we see the mulberry mulberry silkworm this mulberry silkworm mostly prefer the mulberry plants see this silk moth is a stenophagous insect means what it prefer it select it uh, select limited varieties of food this food see this mulberry cultivation of mulberry plant is called mori culture so this plantation of uh, mulberry plant so this process is called mori culture we select different varieties of mulberry plant for cultivation uh, these varieties includes morus alba morus serrata morus indica we also prepare morus latifolia so these are the certain varieties we use for irrigated as well as for non irrigated field when we select the varieties certain points should be considered in mind see these points these are the points so these are the certain points when we select the mulberry plant varieties these varieties always possess good agronomic character this is the most important point when we select any type of mulberry plant varieties these varieties possess good agronomic characters second important point is quality of leaf the leaf quality of mulberry plant varieties is always superior because this quality of leaf yeah the quality and quantity of cocoons depend upon the quality of leaf quality of leaf then third important points is the variety type of variety we select this variety is suitable in different environmental condition in india we mostly prepare the local varieties or uh, see this mysore local is a local varieties but it shows poor yield so main important main advantage of this mysore local variety is it is used in irrigated as well as in non irrigated area today we use improved varieties of mulberry plant like mysore fayu or we called kanwa then yamar 2 this yamar 2 shows resistance again mildew see this mulberry plant cultivation see this mulberry plant cultivation and this is the this image is the peat method of mulberry plant cultivation plantation see this plantation of mulberry plant by using peat system uh, we select uh, different varieties of mulberry plant for irrigated area and for non irrigated area see these varieties of mulberry plant we select for irrigated condition yes 30 yes 36 yes 54 mm -hmm. vishwa mm -hmm. is the is the important uh, uh, is the famous varieties of mulberry plant then victory one uh, CS13, S34, RAPS135 and RF, RAPS175, these are the varieties we select for non-irrigated area. When we select these varieties for irrigated as well as for uh, non-irrigated area, we always here uh, consider certain points before plantation of mulberry plant in irrigated and in non irrigated area see these are the points first we select the suitable land see this first point is selection of land uh, for irrigated varieties we prefer land having slopey area okay see this flat or slightly slopey land uh, is suitable for irrigated mulberry oh, cultivation okay. soil of uh, lands must be loamy or sandy loamy then after selection of land we start the preparation of land uh, uh, this preparation of land includes digging plugging we start uh, this digging plugging uh, three months and after this process after the preparation of land we, we, we start uh, planting of mulberry plants Planting of mulberry plants we start uh, we starts from 
monsoon uh, at the start of monsoon we start planting of mulberry plants we mostly prepare pit system for planting uh, in this pit system uh, see this pit system see this, this is the this is the image of pit system uh, uh, in this pit system we maintain the distance between two plant we maintain the distance between two rows okay so this image is the pit system yeah pit system image of mulberry plantation then after plantation yeah see this uh, planting material and planting i again uh, repeat here we always select the good varieties of mulberry plants this good varieties includes yes 30 yes 54 yes 34 okay so these are the uh, certain good varieties of mulberry plant we planted in planted for irrigated area uh, in, in irrigated area in pit system we uh, mostly prepare the 20 to 20 centimeter cut having three to four buds and these 20 to 20 centimeter cut we place in each pit that's why this uh, plantation system is called as pit system okay so these are the certain points we consider while irrigated mulberry cultivation uh, after plantation initial care is also must then uh, fertilizer, fertilizer schedule is also we uh, is also we prepare we this fertilizer schedule is also must uh, this initial care includes digging of soil inner light digging of soil to remove the unwanted plants to remove the weed this digging is uh, important then fertilizer sch uh, schedule includes the dose of NPK. We apply first dose of NPK at 25 kg per hectare and second dose of nitrogen at 25 kg per hectare after three months. Then pruning. Pruning is also important uh, step. See this plant, mulberry plant, having a different length, different uh, branch length means what this plant have not proper say pruning means what in pruning methods we remove the unwanted branches and give proper say proper size to each plant this whole process is called pruning okay then leaf yield in this way we harvest 7 to 8 million ton of leaf per hectare per year during second year and 10 to 12 million ton of leaf per hectare per year during third year. Uh, this, these points we also consider for non-irrigated conditions or non-irrigated mulberry cultivation. This whole point, whole point, first selection of land, then preparation of land, then planting material and planting, initial care and fertilizer schedule, pruning and, okay, with minor modification. Now next we discuss, let's discuss the pruning methods. What is pruning method? We know pruning methods uh, is the removal of unwanted branches. See this definition of pruning methods judicial removal of undesirable branches of mulberry plant we cut the unwanted branches of mulberry plant to give proper shape of mulberry plants what are the objectives behind this pruning method see these objectives after pruning see this to give a plant proper shape and size we prepare pruning methods then the most important advantages is to uh, improve leaf yield then third objective includes to improve the quality of leaves because quality of leaves in sericulture is important. Then to adjust the leaf production to see, uh, synchronizing the rearing. 
next objective is easily harvest and to divert the energy of plants toward towards optimum leaf production so these are the objectives behind pruning methods okay now we uh, see these pruning methods we can uh, remove the branches of mulberry plant by different ways we use this bottom pruning middle pruning top pruning methods in broad in bottom pruning we cut the branches at the base of plant okay so these are the bottom pruning yeah we called low cut pruning in this bottom pruning we cut the branches of mulberry plant to the base we also prepare middle pruning in this middle pruning we cut the branches at middle and top pruning top pruning includes uh, we cut the branches at the top it is also called as high cut pruning see this collar system this collar system is famous in collar district of karnataka in this collar system we can done harvesting and pruning together here in this collar system branches are cut to the ground level this collar system includes two methods one is fist form and second is non non fist form in fist form we cut the mulberry plant each year at one place on main stem the advantages behind this fist form is uh, the plant shows high resistance against disease and in non fist forms in non fist form methods here we allow to grow the secondary branches but it shows a little low resistance against disease so these are the pruning methods uh, we prepare to give the proper shape and size of mulberry plants